Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. I'm Shane, as always, here from Vegas, and my best friend Balls we got here, and today's video is called, finally, is called Vegas Spots That New Yorkers Love. Before I had my car, Alessia, a lot of Vegas Uber drivers and Lyft drivers were like, oh, you're from New York? You gotta go here, 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 and here. So today we're checking out three spots, and the first is New York Bagel and Bakery. I have been told that they have the proper tap water that comes in from New York City, because the tap water on here, Good shit. Yeah. Good shit. And it's all about top water, right? Yes. When it comes to the dough. Pizza, bagels. All of it. New York has the best bagels in the world. And we're going to find out if New York Bagel and Bakery has the best bagels here in Vegas. You ready? Yeah, let's go. That's all you got to say? Let's go. Pull, pull, pull. Wow. Mother would have loved this, the coffee cake. Know that motion well. On a scale of Starbucks and Duncan. Oh, it's uh, better than Starbucks. I need, and for me, it needs a little more sugar, but I also don't need any more sugar in my life, so. Because you're sweet enough. Yeah. All I see now is if you want pepper. Now I want pepper. Okay, I'm ready. I'm ready. A little thinner than we're used to in New York, but yeah. here we go. Oh, I got a plain bagel. You got a cheddar bagel, right? Mm -hmm. It tastes like New York cheese. Drop something. Shoot. Yeah. It's a little thin, but that's because they toasted it. Because if you got it just plain fluffy, they were nice and fluffy. Egg is well done. Egg is very well done. Like in a good way, not well cooked. The bacon could be crispier. Yeah. Yeah. Christina would like the bacon. The and cheese is stuck. They're bringing the bagels to New York. So together, this is going to be too much. Let me double check. Oh, I'm sorry. 26. Cha-ching! Oh, my God. So two bacon, egg, and cheese. One on cheddar bagel. One on a plain bagel. Two large iced coffees. One size iced coffee. And the iced coffee is not pre-iced, it's warm, but in ice. But you can taste it. Yeah, that's right. You fill the cup with half ice, coffee with half coffee, and then put ice in it and mix it with a spoon. Which is good. Put more ice and put more coffee and mix it. Yeah. Fix it. Yeah. But um twenty-six pounds. In New York, this would be together. Steak and egg and cheese are probably around your 12 bucks on the menu. Ice coffee, coffee, free. I think it's 14 altogether. 
Our true full dollar Vegas import inflation. But this is the best bagel I've had in Vegas since I've been here for a year and a half plus. So I recommend it. We're just gonna be not cheap. I do know if you get a dozen or a baker's dozen bagel, they put it in the traditional paper bag, roll it up. Just like yeah. So I'm debating doing that. I don't think I'll do it now because we're not going straight home. But before I edit this, I'm gonna come back and get a roll of bagels. Anything else? I was trying to look to see the price of the dozen. Oh, it does. New York bagel and bakery. Recommend? Pretty good. Pretty good pictures. Oh. We don't need to see this. We need to see this. We need to see this. This is what we need to see. I like that. All right, so now that we're out of New York Bagel and Bakery, what are your honest thoughts on it? No, I mean, I, I, it wasn't bad. Uh, it's it's probably going to be the closest you get to a New York City bagel without being in New York. Yeah. I do think it's a little overpriced, but I get it because they're probably they're shipping the bagels from, from here. The East Coast, from, yeah. Yeah, from New York to here, so yeah. I get it. you got to cover that cost but for something like this even with new york being expensive as it is probably two of those would probably run you like 14 15 bucks so yeah oh by the way me, punch beetle white uh, and black no tag backs yeah, right there you see it right the freak there you see it right short. there you're too short oh uh, come over here so you can see it yeah, sure yeah, yeah let's beetle. make sure yeah we've been playing the punch beetle game since he's been here and I, uh for the record i said 10 to 2 i said i was winning lose. for the record i said i was gonna yeah, but this because, band, yeah. did you did you think you were gonna lose? Or you think you can get your ass handed to you? Well, I, I stopped. I started paying attention more to the road than you did. When you were driving. Ah, oh, oh, please. Uh, I don't know. Ah, please. That's a beetle. You know that's a beetle. Comment below. Is that a beetle? Is that a Volkswagen beetle? It's yeah, it's a beetle. It's a beetle. You lost the game. Accept it. You suck. Anyway, yeah, I would concur with all those assessments of New York Bagel and Bakery. Again, you're paying for East Coast value. It's not something I would get every morning on no. my way to work, like I would normally do if I did live in the city. But I'm going to insert here how much the dozen bagels in the bag cost. Charging. Shane, come. This is a baker's dozen. 14 bagels from New York Bagel and Bakery. Two less because I gave two to my friend Evelyn downstairs, but I got a whole array of bagels from plain to sesame to garlic to, I think I got the French toast, which I haven't had before. I don't know if I'm excited or not to try that. Oh yeah, I also got a cheddar bagel too. So I'm excited to try that. No toasting, just a cream cheese smear. For those of you not from New York, a smear is whatever you put on it. Let's see how this tastes with a, a nice cup of Joe. Duncan, hallelujah, in my hand. One of the only good things to ever come out of Philadelphia, that, you know, gritty. Bagel with cream cheese smear. Mmm. To me, this reminds me of food trucks in the morning, you know? And if you're in New York, you kind of know that the bagels and food trucks are a little bit crispier than the ones in, you know, the bagel shops and the delis and the bodegas. And these are a little bit crispier than, than those. Um, so this reminds me very much, actually tastes exactly like the bagel cream cheese I used to get at the truck in Columbus and 66th Street in the morning for that decade that I worked at One Life to Live. Very good, very authentic. <laughs> yep, this is real. Closest thing I've had to New York bagel since moving here to Las Vegas. Oh, because I'm a fat bastard glutton, I'm trying the garlic bagel back to back with the plain. Mm. Oh, that's a lot of garlic. One of those will ward off all vampires for life. Mm. <laughs> Mm. <laughs> it's terrible. <laughs> Just kidding. This is, mm. Cheddar. French toast. Glistening cinnamony. If you like French toast and you like cinnamon, this is good. Am I going to seek this one out again? No, but it's not bad by any means. Damn it, I'm screwed now because I'm going to be wanting 
do this all the time. You know, bagel and baker. What are you doing to me? All right, so we're back from that. It's a treat for a New Yorker, I think, maybe when you have company from New York or yeah. every few weeks or something like that, yeah, for sure. company from New York and you get a dozen bagels. For sure. All right, on to the next spot. because he had to go home. Uh, we didn't get a chance to shoot everything for this vlog together, so you'll see him in the next spot, just not this one. I'm at Pops Philly Cheese Steaks on Decatur and Alta. They're open 24 hours a day, and while they have a generous amount of outdoor seating, one, it's hot as could be outside. Currently, it says 114. Two, there are people out there who I just don't want to get in the background, and I was hoping for a slightly better audio than we're used to getting in this vlog. So, I got, because I'm a pansy ass, very basic, Cheese steak with American cheese. I don't like provolone. I definitely don't like whiz. And uh, no, oh shit, no onions. I'm getting stuff everywhere because I don't like the onions either. So you know, sure, some people are gonna say it's not a real Philly cheese steak because of it. I also say it's from Philly. I have to make some improvements. Uh, I'm gonna get this all over myself. They take cash or credit, and they also had this really nifty, beautiful, heavy ass Coke. Pinkies up, bitches. Oh, it's classic. Is this a... Uh, oh, my God. This is Mexican Coke. <gasps> oh, my God. This is amazing. So the Philly cheese steak, the American kind, is uh, with American cheese, uh, is $12.99. The bottle of Coke is $3.49. I gave them a tip. So altogether, it was $21.43. That's a 20% tip. So that's not too bad. In New York, I'm used to going to Shorty's. I used to go to 99 Miles of Philly. That's since closed. Shorty's is pretty damn good. I used to eat that a lot at my job. So let's see how this is. Now, a lot of people go to Geno's and the other one in Philadelphia. If you're in Philadelphia, don't go to like the places you see on the Instagram. Go to the terminal market in the center, dead center of town, in the heart of Philadelphia itself. In the terminal market, that's where you can find the best Philly cheesesteaks. Okay. So let's see if this is as good as the ones I can get in Philadelphia and in New York City. Hmm. Yo! 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 My dude! This is better than Shorty's. It's better than my food. This? This bread is fucking good. Oh my god, look at that bread. Look at that. Steak to cheese is perfect. Shit. Oh, my own. This is good. Pops is like this outdoor, just like, eatery place. Always open. This is so perfect. Oh, my God. I'll be coming back here again. This is, the bread has a, the right kind of flake on it. I get it everywhere. Has the right kind of flake on it, but it's soft. It's not mushy. It's not... The consistency is perfect. The right amount of crisp, the right amount of soft, the steak, perfectly cooked. Not overdone, not crunchy, not overly soft. Melts in your mouth, not in your hands. And cheese is just perfect. I love cheese, but I'm weird. I don't always want a lot of it. Mmm. This is per This is a perfect compliment, my dude. Oh my god. Woo. Balls, you missed the fuck out. Cause pops. This is a spot that I now know why 
New Yorkers love it because damn. Well, spot number two done and wash it down with nice Mexican Coca-Cola beverage. I was weak. I was weaker. But no vlog about New York City Eats would be complete with a nice, authentic slice and pie of New York City pizza. Someone just walked into my, she, she, she looked at me, she's like, dude, what's this guy doing? But it's true, we need pizza in this vlog, so we're going to the east side, right across the street from UNLV's dorms, to, for the last spot on our list of Vegas spots New Yorkers love, Cugino's Italian Deli and Pizza. I've been here several times, his first time. I can't wait to see your assessment of it. All right, let's go in. did it this time. You did it the right way. Stella Dora, remember that? My mother used to love that. Awesome as they have Boris Head. You cannot find these kinds of deli meats and cheeses and homemade potato salad, macaroni salad, and so forth here. This is the spot to go. And you have all the real New York shit, right? This is New York, I don't think. 18, 16? About that, yeah. yeah. About, probably like 25. Oh, I forgot about the time. But, uh, yeah. But, uh, 21, 25, yeah. I'll put the exact, I'll, I'll go online with the exact on the screen right now. What's really great is I show them, like, the pepperoni. Oh, you, know, you see it. Yeah, the pepperoni is the right size, the right cut, the right greasiness, the right everything. This is important. Crust a little thin for my liking. I do like dough eater, but you know, and smaller. It's a, this is a large pie, and the smaller pie is a lot. It's more like personal thing, but the bigger pie is 18 inch. Yeah, it's not exactly like what I featured in the past, as far as New York size size style pizza goes. But it is authentic crust. It is. They bring in crust and ingredients from the East Coast, much like the bagel place does. Yeah, yeah. this place feels like a Staten Island pizzeria deli. Right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, I'm guys here from the East Coast. They bring their food to you. It's amazing. I mean, not only do they have Boar's Head, Cento, San Marizano, Marizano, tomato paste, all the different kind of things, uh, brands that they have here that is harder to get on the on the West Coast those or are, in Paso. Those are whole peeled tomatoes right. yeah. in a can. 
concept. But they also have water in it, so it creates a tomato sauce. Because you use the whole peel of tomatoes, or get any tomato skin, and then you kind of smash it for your sauce, or you let it break down. They're simmering for hours. And they bring in the Italian bread that they, it's frozen, it's not really frozen, though, but it's kept in the freezer, in the, in the cold. They bring it up from Jersey, northeast of Jersey, I think Linden around there. And it's like five ish dollars a loaf. But they're long, they're thinner. They're long. It's very hard to find good Italian bread. Yeah, here. But I get it, and within two minutes outside of the freeze of the refrigerator, it's ready to eat. It's great toasted, it's great raw. <laughs> I gotta use it for my meatball bread recipe at some point. It's uh because almost impossible to find good Italian bread. Perfect for a balanced breakfast. Ignore my morning face. And air. They got all the toppings. The hot red peppers. The garlic. The oregano. I put a little pepper. And of course, the most important one. The parmesan. Damn, that's a problem. This is how you eat a sliced pizza. Fold it. Fold it like that. Yeah, no fork. You lean back. You'll see. You lean it back. None of this. Uh, no forks and knives. No, nothing like this. Fold that bitch. Mm. These are the spots on the Yorkers love. A little skin from the tomato. In Las Vegas. I thank you for watching. We thank you for watching. We appreciate you watching. And we love you for watching. Please like, share, subscribe. All that good junk. If you feel so inclined. And uh, when you're in Vegas, hit me up. We'll go here together. We'll go to all these spots together. And uh, take care of yourselves. See you in the next one. Okay.